Hey there, YouTube, and welcome to what was supposed to be a very productive Saturday, but has started off uh, late and slow. And also, I'm gonna tell you some stuff about JavaScript, too. So last night I was up late, right? And most of that is because of college basketball and I set my alarm to be up at like 7.30 this morning and that just never happened. And yeah, it's because I use my watch to wake me up and my watch died at 3.30 in the morning, which I can tell because that's all the farther it saw that I slept to. So I barely rolled out of bed by noon today. Now this wouldn't be such a big deal if I didn't have a laundry list of things that I needed to accomplish today, which I do. Not the least of which is filming this video, but I guess it's gonna turn into a longer video than what I thought it was. So I've already been to the gym, showered, ate breakfast, and now it's time to drink my old man juice, which is mostly just an apple cider vinegar drink that has salt and cayenne pepper and turmeric and lemon juice in it, and it's supposed to make you feel better in every possible way. I don't know if it's actually working or not, but I'm gonna make my drink and chug it down. And then on to step two. So I went a little crazy on the turmeric and this actually kind of looks like, uh, what's that drink? Sunny Delight, that's it. But normally it's not this orange. Anyways, it still tastes fine. It just tastes like apple cider vinegar if you're into that. Or pickle juice, I guess, also kind of. Also, just as my morning is going, my camera battery died so I had to flip it out. Luckily I had one charged already, which is usually not the case, but yeah. Great Saturday. So the next stop on my journey is going to buy new shoes because I need new athletic shoes and new sneakers because my sneakers have holes in them and my athletic shoes are starting to fall apart. And yeah, I just need new ones. So there's a store down the road that's having a sale. I'm gonna take advantage of it and see what I can find. After I do that, I'm gonna come back and talk to you guys though about JavaScript while I'm trying to do actual work for my actual job. Yes, on a Saturday, I know I just need to be productive because I didn't get as much done during the week as I needed to. Lots of meetings, lots of calls, and lots of projects to work on and it all kind of boiled down to me possibly missing a deadline if I don't get stuff done this weekend. So I'm doing that and I'm happy to. It's a fun project to work on. It feels like a personal project almost because I'm starting it from scratch. And so yeah, it, it's exciting. Other than the fact that I have to use TypeScript, which I've still like not fallen in love with yet. But so I wanted to give you that little tease of what is coming up in this video. And before I do that, I just want to say that this idea was spurred on by another video that I watched. There's a guy called the Dreaded Dev. If you haven't checked him out, I'll link his uh, stuff down below in the specific video that I'm talking about down below. Super awesome, super cool dude. He's a developer. He did a video about JavaScript and learning JavaScript that kind of made me think about what I wish I had done differently when I decided to learn JavaScript and how it could possibly help you. So that's what we're talking about here in a couple minutes when I have new shoes and yeah, bye. All right, so we're back now. Got two pairs of shoes, mission accomplished. Got a pair of Adidas to walk around in and a pair of New Balances to work out in. They're right there. Check it out. We are all good. I also got a surprise uh, for my wife, something that we've been needing for a long time, which is a vacuum cleaner. It's right there, mostly to clean up hair from this guy because we have went through the vacuum cleaner that we were using before. It was just a little like uh, shark whatever, basic vacuum cleaner. So you got a real one. We're about to move to a bigger place and we're gonna need it anyway, so yeah. Vacuum cleaner, two pairs of shoes, and now talking some JavaScript with you. So I know a bunch of people on here are trying to learn how to become a web developer. They're trying to learn JavaScript, HTML, CSS, all of those good things. And the link that I posted down below is the dreaded devs video about how you're learning JavaScript wrong. And he makes a bunch of really awesome points in that video, not the least of which is learn JavaScript, vanilla JavaScript first, before you learn jQuery or React or Angular or anything like that. I also wanna take this a step further and talk about how you learn JavaScript and what kind of JavaScript you learn. When you're out here and you're buying Udemy courses or you're going through Team Treehouse or anything like that, you wanna make sure that when you're learning JavaScript, you're learning the newest available version of JavaScript that people are using right now in the industry. The best way to do this, especially for Udemy courses, is see when they were last updated, go through kind of the course like uh, agenda or whatever it is, you can see that before you buy the course and see what they're talking about. Make sure that they have ES6, ES Next, EX2017, all of those things. Make sure they have those in there because if you're sitting here and you're learning old JavaScript and you're still 
still using variables and you don't know what a const or a let is and those kind of things, you're going to be disserviced when it comes to job interviews, especially when it comes to technical questions. The things that people are hiring for now for front end and a lot of the frameworks that you're going to learn after you learn vanilla JavaScript are going to want you to learn ES6 syntax. And ES6 syntax is easy to pick up, so you should start learning it right away as opposed to learning the old way and then getting confused when you learn the new way. One of the best resources, and I talk about it all the time, for learning JavaScript, specifically vanilla JavaScript, is Wes Boss's uh, JavaScript 30. I always have it linked down below. It's completely free. Sign up for that and work through it. He does an amazing job of teaching you vanilla JavaScript in the right way. Leah really wants cuddles. When I first started learning JavaScript at the bootcamp, ES6 and all of those things were coming into fruition and starting to be picked up and Babel was able to compile it down to ES5 and all of those things, but it was still pretty new, cutting edge, bleeding edge technology type of things. And I didn't even look at it until I got into my first gig and they were using it. And while the learning curve isn't as steep, if you know old JavaScript, you can pick up new JavaScript pretty well. Being able to do an arrow function straight off the bat is a lot better than having to try to fumble your way through it in an interview or getting to that first day on the job, writing some code and then being like, hey homie, why didn't you write this in like the new syntax? You know I'm a big proponent of learning stuff that's going to get you a job, specifically if that's what you're trying to learn code for. Are you trying to learn code to get a job? Or are you trying to learn code to build your own thing and do your own thing for a while? And learning stuff to get a job means that you're going to need to use what people are using in the industry now. And that is by far ES6, ES2017, ES Next, all of those things people are using right now. It's great if you learn jQuery and jQuery has a bunch of legacy code out there and there's a possibility that you get your first job and you're gonna be living in jQuery world all day. But understanding the, the actual like bottom, like basement level JavaScript, the vanilla as close to JavaScript as you can get JavaScript is going to serve you way better than just jumping into jQuery. Like the dreaded dev said in his video, it's really important that you understand because the underlying thing that's powering all of those frameworks, that's powering all of those libraries, whether it be Lodash, jQuery, React, Angular, Vue, all of of those things are running off of pure vanilla JavaScript. So I hope that information serves you well when you're trying to learn JavaScript and if you have any questions about it feel free to leave them in the comments down below. This is all I've got for today. I've got a bunch of stuff that I got to get done for work and personal stuff and the channel and Twitch and a bunch of other stuff that I'm trying to do today. It's already past three o'clock. I really wish I would have woken up earlier but you know we only have the hours that we're awake for and I'm awake now. Got to get this stuff done man. If you guys want to leave a comment those are always awesome and appreciated and I will respond maybe not right away because I'm bad at responding to comments immediately but leave something down there and I will hit you back if you like this video hit that like button because they are super awesome and they make me smile if you haven't already hit that subscribe button to follow along in my journey and I hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day I will see you again very soon bye